just to be clear, I should be on the lookout for a large beanstalk. Right. I'm trying to retrace my step, my way back. Trouble is, I was in this bag of sheep. Long story. Are you really a guardian? Sure. Yes, of course I am. A guardian. You're not like most guardians I've met. Why not? I don't know. There's a way they carry themselves. A swagger of entitlement or just plain <laughs> arrogance. <laughs> Sorry. I have the unfortunate habit of speaking my mind. Not at all. I just assumed you liked guardians. They're fine, I suppose. It's just... Take Roderick, for example. Is he really the best example? Absolutely. When you think of what he's done, only a guardian could possess such a noxious combination of self-interest, barbarity, and audacity. You're staring at me. Was I? Sorry. I was just... You're different than I thought you'd be. Different? In what way? I don't know. More... Talkative? You mean opinionated. I take it you find opinions in women unladylike? Uh, oh no. Actually, I meant it as a compliment. You did? Oh. Well, thank you. Though I do think you're being a little unfair. I mean, you make guardians sound as bad as giants. Well, who's to say they're not? Or that giants are any worse than we are? <laughs> Come on. Do you know many giants? You mean other than the ones that killed, that murdered Keel and Logan? Only because they trespassed. On their way to rescue you? From Fallon and Roderick. We're talking about giants here, bloodthirsty. Again, savage. I'd ask how you know this to be true. From old war stories passed down by blowhards bent on making themselves appear as heroic as possible. They're giants, our sworn enemies. I see. Well then, I stand corrected. You are just like every other guardian I've ever met.